mental toughness really means is being able to overcome adversity, being able to be uh, honest and truthful with yourself during failure. At the end of the day, you as a player want to be successful. You as a parent want to give your child the best opportunity to be successful. So the best thing you can do is prepare them with building true confidence. If I was to change anything, I would, I would be focusing more on building my own confidence than caring about what other players or coaches thought about me. Because at the end of the day, if I have confidence, um, then I will be successful. If I would have had confidence uh, in 98 when I had the issues with the Chicago Cubs with Lester Strode and Jim Henry, the, the scouting director who signed me, I, I, would have, I would have asked them, you know, why are you raising your voice? I would have asked them, um, you know, where is this coming from? You know, oh, you, you signed me, you paid me really, really good money, uh, three quarters of a million dollars, so why all of a sudden do you not value where I'm coming from and are you attacking me? I would say the, the most important thing that players and, and coaches should know when talking to scouts is that these are the people um, that you're going to be negotiating against at the end of the day, um, their organization. So they're trying to gather as much information. And for the player, when you're out there on the field, you know, when you see five or ten scouts that have their radar guns that are up, um, at the end of the day, they're there to find talent. So if you have talent, just be who you are, be yourself, don't overthrow. So in 2001, I threw a 91 mile an hour fastball and it came back and hit me in the knee at 103 miles an hour. And that directly affected my balance, my coordination, and my timing. So my mechanics were all thrown off. And the next year, I worked real hard in the offseason. And the following year, I, I led double A strikeouts, did real well. And in 2005, I started having some balance issues again. And, and the seed from the injury kind of was in the back of my head. And so while I was in the gym after throwing a bullpen session, I had a 20 pound sandbag on my shoulders and I leaned to the right side and I immediately felt my glute, which is what the coaches were trying to get me to feel. So shortly after that, in September of 2005, I created the Balance Pro Sport Club, which was to help athletes with balance. And about a year later, that application was found to help children that have sensory disorders. A lady out in California called me. Uh, her name is Catherine Behan. She uh, worked, worked at the time at a school called the Sierra Academy, which is a school for autistic children. She called out of the blue and said, hey, I, I have one of these belts, and it's, it's been helping calm me down. She, she has ADHD, and she took it to the school, and she tried it on some of the autistic children, and, and it helped reduce self-stimming tendencies for the children. She's like, wow, I put the belt on them, and it really helped calm them down. And to date, we've helped about 10,000 children. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com for free video training to perform under pressure, to turbocharge confidence, to build resiliency and learn life skills through participation.